Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the weekly reading. This is your weekly reading for the 6th to the 12th of April and this is your reading. And welcome my Cyber Angels, thank you for your support. I hope you are well and safe. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. And this is your reading, my new viewer, for the 6th to the 12th of April 2020. I'm using the Fairy Lenormand deck, and I'm using the Mythic deck, and the Tea Leaves, and the Charms, and uh, an Inspiration card from Wayne Dwyer, and also Surrendering. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, oh, if, if you would like to have a, a, an extended reading, then you can find the information either under the little white circle with the eye or below the video in the description box. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Sometimes I really sound deep, but that's the earphones. Sorry about that. And uh, just a little bit of news. We are in the new system where YouTube is. And um, if you are not getting notified, then have a look. If you have the <coughs> bell, there's a new choice with the bell. You can put it on private or all or nothing. And click on all. Then you should be getting notifications. Um, so let's get started my darlings um, the first card that you have is the letter and the letter means that you will be receiving news this could be official news as well and number 27 means a 9 so there is an ending perhaps there is news that there is an ending of something like if you're in a ju 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 Sorry about that. Uh, judicial. If you're in a judicial situation, then 27, that which becomes a 9, could mean there is an ending coming to difficult times. This could be a tax return that you had to pay and now you're getting news. Um, it's okay, you don't, because it's been tweaked and tweeted. And it's okay. This could be a marriage certificate. This could be a birth certificate. Anything like that. Something official. I'm not doing the cartomancy because I've got a lot of decks here. So I'm just taking the numerology of the Lenormand and the meaning of the Lenormand and whatever extra message I get. To uh, confirm or clarify the Lenormand, you've got the Two of Cups. That means you might have been balancing your emotions between your heart and your mind, your heart and your soul, or perhaps your work and home front. I know we are on lockdown and a lot of us have to work from home and that could be an issue that you had to balance the kids and your homework. Now you've got the heart and the heart has got a paw print on it and on the other side it says heart my cat. So you love your cat. There could be a new member uh, coming into the family like a cat and there could also be uh, an other pet coming in. You've got a handshake so that usually means an agreement. Let's see, a meeting with a stranger could be important. So there could be an agreement because when you shake hands in the olden days that was also agree an agreement. So you might be shaking hands with a stranger. stranger. Okay, and it could be important. So it could be an official agreement. That could be the a contract coming through the post or official news. This could be a contract that you're buying a cat, a pedigree cat that you love. Okay, midweek we've got the child and the child means you might find out you're pregnant. Uh, it also means be more playful, let your inner child come out. Don't take everything so serious. There's new beginnings because a birth, of course, is also a new beginning. This could be of a child but could also be of a study or work. The child also means you um, 
uh, have to learn in a playful manner. So you might be learning something new in a playful manner. Number 13 in the I Ching means fellowship, so it means friendship. You might make a new friend, who knows. But 1 and 3 is 4, so this is a stable new beginning. It's built on proper foundations like the Four of Wands. Then you have death. You are in a transformational period. You're leaving something old behind, an old face, and there is a new beginning. So the child could be a new beginning, like I said, so that is being confirmed from with the death card of the tarot, and that is transformation. You're no longer the caterpillar. You are a butterfly or becoming a cat butterfly. And again and again, I've got the cat charm here, a little cat. So something is significant about a cat. The word prowess is coming up as well. So be is strong and quiet and uh, flexible like a cat. That could be uh, the situation as well. Be more flexible, be more feline. You've got the card cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. You are being protected by forces beyond your control. So this could be a, a, be significant to a black cat. A black cat is a witch's cat and it means luck. Okay. Um, at the end of the week you've got the four week clover and you've got two. So you are in balance and luck is on your side like the black cat and you are being protected from negative forces beyond your control so definitely something spiritual is happening here and again you have the empress and the empress also represents uh, Libra the, rep uh, the empress also represents Libra and that's was also like the Queen of Swords. Um, dup, 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 dup. She um, she can be playful because she plays with children, and she's a cheerful lass, and she represents fertility. So you might find out you're pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. New beginnings again, a birth of a child or a birth of a project like the child. But with her, it takes time to grow. And so if you've invested in something, it takes time to grow before you can harvest. Because it has to blossom and then you can harvest like she's doing here. So you might be meeting up with a Libra. Then you have the desk and that looks quite official as well. Pay attention to your work. So this could be an, a promotion a new, uh, like I said, a new start at work, a new job, or even a promotion, because the queen, or, uh, or rather, uh, the empress invests in things, and she, she sows the seeds, and it takes time to grow, and then it's like progressing, like a promotion. You've also got the wheel, the wheel of a boat. So I take this as a meaning, like you might be traveling, you might be moving home, you might be going up a notch in a relationship or in work, business, you might get a promotion, like every spoke is a stage, but you might also be going on holiday. Something is coming full circle, um, an end of a phase, a new beginning, definitely a new beginning, wow. This is also my like the Wheel of Fortune. In some decks it just looks like a wheel of a boat. Okay, so it means also my karma. Karma. So if you've done good, you will reap rewards threefold. If you've done bad, you will reap also uh, threefold. Your karma, if somebody's done you wrong, then they will get it back threefold, whether it's good or bad. Now, 
Again, you've got 20, you're still in balance. You've got 2, now you've got 20, which becomes 2. And the garden means uh, gatherings, meetings. So, because we are on lockdown, this could be happening through Messenger, Skype, any Zoom, uh, any digital uh, conferences, meetings. There might be somebody coming back from the past, a reunion, reunion with friends and family. Um, you might have had difficult times um, in the past and that is coming to an end now. So um, perhaps somebody uh, from the past might be coming back that made your life difficult. That is how I interpret it because it's lying underneath the card uh, garden and that means reunions networking so you might have had a difficult time networking especially in the lockdown that you couldn't go and meet people but you've been um, you've been creative and uh, you have got an other way of connecting with people there is a new beginning because where there is an end there is a new beginning perhaps with a loved one because you've got a heart on there you've got a heart and you've got a cracked cup for the tea uh, leaf reading dissatisfaction with life well you perhaps had dissatisfaction in love and that was the difficult time but that is finished now you you might be dissatisfied um, but like I said officiality there is something official coming to you and perhaps an agreement um, has come round and you've finished with uh, the discussions and you found your balance and now the end is in sight because there are new beginnings there is definitely a lot of new beginnings an ending and you found your balance back luck is on your side big time again you might be moving home you might be pregnant because we do have the empress here you have a child here which means birth but also the stalk the stalk means birth this could be birth of a child a birth of a job there's also a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue as this also means big change you've got number 17 so that will become an 8 so you are in your power and that's the house of power so you're in your strength you might also be receiving money now we've got the queen of um, swords and the queen of swords is also a Libra so the Empress is a Libra and uh, the Queen of Swords represents Libra as the King of Swords represents Gemini so Libra is quite important perhaps this Libra has helped you to get clarity or justice uh, official news official papers get, getting the honesty um, for you and getting clarity as to what uh, why uh, there's such a hard time what is wrong I would love to know what uh, is wrong with uh, a situation or what your question is where you need clarity for or of so that could be it you'll be get clarity honesty honesty will always come drifting back up and that honesty prevails loyal uh, honesty prevails yes justice will be served so you might be meeting a Libra because that's prominent in your reading but don't exclude because she's the Queen of Air a Gemini or an Aquarian she will she will fight on your behalf as she cuts straight through to the core and cuts away the rubbish and will fight on your behalf to get justice done and clarity now Scorpio surrender to the divine timing perhaps you've been in an issue for a while this could have been in about three months uh, th three weeks something was not clear it could have been nine months because I'm seeing two three nine 
Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I see another nine. This could have been going on for three to nine months. Um, I'm, I don't know why I'm giving time because time is man made, but something has come full circle. Okay, if you are pregnant, that could be the indication of nine months. That's a child, that's a child, that's a child, a pregnancy takes nine months wow this is crazy how here you've got a nine here two and seven is a nine so nine is also of importance or significance to you so surrender to divine timing sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow always have faith in the divine time is man-made it can always take time if you've been trying for a child then this is a very fertile time so let's have a look uh, it is April April May June July August September October November December January okay no no it will be an earth element no sorry I was just thinking out loud if you do get pregnant now it won't be an air sign it could be just on the cusp of an air sign Aquarius if you find out you're pregnant now or you're going to fall pregnant now it can become an Aquarius next year Wow this is again nine months in nine months time it will be February so February next year might be significant now the inspiring card that you have is a mountain forget about cash cash value um, the mountain to me also signifies that you might be making uh, issues where there are no issues or you may, may be making them worse than what they really are so remember don't, you don't have to climb a mountain there's always a path try to free yourself from placing a cash value on everything you have do and say do what your heart tells you will bring you joy rather than determining whether it will be cost effective in the world of spirit there are no price tags so don't put a price on everything don't put a value on everything perhaps that might be the um, issue here okay so don't put a price tag on love don't put a price tag on love that is the meaning so what is the message um, for you this week Scorpio well you've got a lot of messages coming in don't put a price tag on everything not on a relationship not on a child if you really want preg be pregnant and you can't get pregnant for instance then money should not be an issue there's always a way to find a solution or help uh, a child is prominent pregnancy is prominent uh, that is definitely very very prominent a three uh, sorry a two is prominent and nine is prominent so something could be lasting from three months to nine months okay three and nine is 12 so perhaps a year give or take because remember uh, time is man made go with the flow and that ego of yours okay Ah, sometimes divine timing may differ uh, from your ego's timing let that ego go ego can only destroy already what you have be patient and trust the universal flow that's all I can say okay don't be dis dissatisfied with what you've got be happy be grateful and there will be more because it's on 
on the way. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, my sweetie, and be blessed and stay safe. Please like and share with family and friends.